Hey there, I'm Kathy Kallenberger and I have one question for you. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of mashed potatoes? I'm thinking that most of you said gravy. That's what I think of. They go together like American apple pie. Or better yet, Philadelphia and cream cheese. They're all about comfort and so is the dish I'm going to prepare for you today. Except I'm taking you to a totally different level of comfort. I'm going to be making a cheesy Maryland mashed potato. <laughs> a five pound bag of potatoes, one stick of butter cubed, a half a container of sour cream, a half a cup of heavy whipping cream, and a half a cup of whole milk, obey seasoning, one tablespoon, pinch or so to your taste, a container, one container of uh, fried onions, they're not just for uh, green bean casserole anymore, an 8 ounce container of lump crab meat, one two cup bag of shredded cheese, today I'm using the three cheese mix of uh, Vermont cheddar, white cheddar, and mild sharp cheddar cheese. And last but not least, the most important ingredient of all. Philadelphia whipped cream cheese with uh, chives. I like the chives the best. It gives it a little bit more of an onion flavor. So our first step is to uh, first boil your potatoes. Once they are boiled, make sure that you drain them real well and that make sure you get all the excess water off to make sure that the, your potatoes aren't soupy. Next, you're gonna take it over to your mixer. Make sure you put it on the one that makes it nice and fluffy. You're going to add your <coughs> Yeah, I saw. Add your butter. It's nice and melted. Creamy. Take it up a little step. Make sure you get it down the sides. A little on the sides also. The fall. That's alright. Okay, once you do that, stop it a little bit. Oop. Not go up. Stop it. Okay. Add your uh Look the thing up. Half a container of sour cream. Mix that in real well. And slowly add in your milk and heavy cream. Do it a little bit at a time because you might not need that much. Make it walk a little bit so it's not lumpy. We've let our potatoes mix now for about two minutes. Getting all the lumps out. Our next ingredient, which is our most important ingredient, is our Philadelphia whipped cream cheese with chives. Now, I like using the whips. Look at that. It's delish. Keeps your mashed potatoes nice and fluffy, too. Okay. Get all that goodness. Look at that. Can you get in there and see that? Mm -hmm. See that? <laughs> So now we're going to uh, just whip it up just a little bit longer. Make sure you get down in the sides, get all that good stuff down in there. All right. I think we're ready to put it into our uh, casserole dish. And add the other ingredients too before that. I'm just getting excited. You're gonna wanna take, get your old bay, sprinkle it in there, because it gives it a little bit of color too. <laughs> Dude, really? What did you do? 
That's classic. <laughs> All right, maybe I need a different spoon. Let's try that yeah, now. Hold on, go. With my new spoon, we're going to stir in your crab meat. Make sure you pick through it every once in a while. You find just a little bit of shell. Not very often, but... Half a bag of the cheese. Look at that goodness. Right. Does that look delicious? You can hear it. Get all that crab in there. I thought about this one day when I was making crab cakes, mashed potatoes, a little bit of crab left over. I thought, why not just pop in the mashed potatoes? Yeah. that you can take to a potlucker, something like that. Now, you want to take the remainder of your cheese and cover your mashed potatoes with it. And your onions. And what you want to do then is <coughs> excuse me put it into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes so the cheese is nice and melted so our mashed potatoes have been in the oven now for about 20 minutes and they should be piping hot cheese melted ready to go onions a little browned oh, look at that can you hear it Look at that. It looks too good to dig, dig into. What do you think? Let me get me a spoon. Let's dig into this. Get myself a plate. myself a little green. Now I look for chives in my grocery store but they happen to be out so I just grabbed myself a little scallion. Mm. I feel like I'm at the beach. Taste of the crab, cheese, crunchy texture from the onions. Sounds like banging. Mmm, cream cheese makes it totally creamy. You'll notice that you didn't need all the milk and stuff because I use by using that whipped cream cheese, you don't need all the milk. So for your next potluck, try stepping out of your comfort zone a little and try making my cheesy Maryland mashed potatoes with the great taste of Philadelphia whipped cream cheese with chives. <laughs>